Hey everyone. So I want to give a shout out to Claudette Hansen, Samantha Young, Linda Harris. Thank you ladies so much for the videos. JM, I got the latest on the Patreon. I'm shocked. So I will be getting to that video uh, fairly soon. Anyway, um, I think I did a video on this before. This here is an update, okay? So let's check out uh, the clip here. Fair use, and I'll return with commentary. Here we go. The road. A woman was trying to walk inside this store when a man just walked up to her and started attacking her last night, and it all was caught on that camera. A surveillance camera captured mm. these terrifying moments of a rough robbery outside of a Chevron gas station. A mm. mobile woman ambushed, grabbed, and then eventually thrown to the ground. For it to be right around the corner from where I live, um, I'm completely shaken up. This all happening at the Chevron gas station at Azalea and Michael around 7.30 last night. Raven Cheese wasn't here at the time, but she could have been. She says she's normally at the store at least three times a week. This gas station, I felt like it was safe as well lit at all times, but you just never know where trouble is. In the video, you can see the unidentified woman pull up to a gas pump, then get out of her car to walk inside. That's when police say 28-year-old Brandon Young grabbed her and lifted her in the air as he tried to rob her. The woman fought back, but was eventually thrown to the ground. Police say Young grabbed her keys and mm. ran off before being arrested this morning. It could have been me, so that's why you always have to watch. You have to look up, you know, be aware of your surroundings. It made me scared for my daughter and my wife, you know what I'm saying? They come here too. This mm. isn't the first time this gas station has made the news. Back in June, a clerk was held up as two men demanded money. Shots were fired, but nobody was hurt. The suspects got away with some cash. I'm scared all the time to stand outside for a minute. The gas station manager didn't want his face on camera, but says he wants to see more police in the area to keep people safe from those looking to cause trouble. They do what they want to do. That's what it is. And people like us, people like, you know, innocent people get help every, every time. So we need, all we need is just protect. Despite the scary situation, she says she'll be back. I'm still going to come here uh, and try to keep my eyes open. At last check, Young is still behind bars tonight. He should face a judge later this week for the robbery charge. We're live in Mobile tonight. Ten Let the mammoths tell it. Oh, he on drugs, y'all. He can't get his mind right. Or they might outright lie. That famous line that they give. He didn't do nothing. Dusty's being drama. Dusty's being trauma. The financial implications, too much dust in the nation. This right here, one person has brought this drama. And you think about it, they are bad for business. And we want to complain that, oh, somebody needs to come and build in the community. Someone built this business. There's an owner, there's a manager, is hiring people. And look what he does. He brings terror. But will he try to, he can think to be calculating to commit a crime or robbery. What about to uh, to maybe uh, get a job? Or oh, he can't get a job. Well, who, whose fault is that? I wonder whose fault that is. He's doing what he wants to do. And then they try and play victim. I mean, you saw how he body slammed the woman. That girl could have broke her back. She's probably a younger person. Imagine being an older person. But you want to defund the police. If they're acting this way now, people with all the crime in the community, with the police, cameras everywhere. I mean, again, if you want to go to jail, just walk your behind up in there and just say, hey, I'm going to spend a few hours with the homies. I like being in there. That's a lot easier. He doesn't deserve to be walking around in public. He really doesn't. They need to have it. They need to pretty much bring stiffer, punish, stiffer crimes for this punishment from these dusties, from all these people in the society that are committing crimes. 
This makes it unsafe for everybody. You saw that other, that other uh, mature uh, black man said he's concerned why, about his wife and his daughter. Mm-hmm. So what if that uh, mature black man's like, hey, ladies, you know, my wife and my daughter, uh, this happened. Don't go to that store. Sure, it's one event. It could happen anywhere. But that's how people think because they've this has happened. They've seen it. Then I want to go someplace else. You see the financial implication of a Dusty on businesses in the community. This is what they do. This is what they do. So, yeah, that man may decide to go ahead. You know, I just want to really have you guys go someplace else to get gasoline. And this could be nearby. So then you could lose customers. This is the function that this function and the financial implication that Dusty's bring with, with, their, with, with their behavior. And sure, he's captured. Let's wait for the next one to show up. That's why it's called a hood. Nothing neighborly about it. And you can have good people there, but all this dust is just running amok. Look, I mean, look at this fool. It's cameras everywhere, and he still tried it. He still did it. This is what they do. Dusties are destructive. What, what's the point? You're not even getting the point of what I'm talking about. You're getting personal because you're traumatized by the anger of black men. If this is not trauma, I don't know what the heck is. If this is not trauma, please tell me what is. But you want somebody to come and build in the black community. The problem is the dust buckets and the mammies that support them. The women in their lives, from, from baby mama, wise grandmama, cousin, they're going to support them. He's homeboys. He, if... It's inexcusable. And it's sad. It's not fair. But this is why a lot of people that have money, they want to avoid certain areas. I just had a friend. Travels for business. I It, it blows my mind. The, real, real facts. Travels for business. So uh, long story short, uh, the person is staying in a motel, staying in a hotel. Okay, and they're staying in a very nice area. I'm like, oh yeah, for me with that area is very upscale. Oh yeah, you know, um, it, it's it's a money area. Well, guess what happened? So they're staying in a hotel, and we got Bonquifa, so straight up hood and ignorant. A lot of people travel for business, and I know that Bonquifa, even you know, uh, sometimes dirty backing. Uh, some people are stupid; they don't understand that. So some people travel for business and of course they'll be in a hotel. Heck, I've done it. And then they can also work while they're at the hotel. So he's at the hotel working. Uh, she comes in to clean the room and she's like, oh, you can't be in here. I'll clean the room. Okay. Well, he's got to prepare for a conference call, yada, 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 and all that fun stuff with webinar. So, um, he's like, it's been 30, 40 minutes. The room is still not clean. Uh, bon Quifa just sitting up on the phone. Ignorant as hell. Sitting up on the phone. And he's like, um, do you have any idea? I mean, how long is it going to take you to clean the room? Because I'm I'm actually working here, okay? So I'm working here in the hotel. That's, I'm here for business, so I have work to do, okay? I've got to prepare for this, what happened. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't know. I don't know. Dummy, you know how long it takes your behind to uh, change some sheets and mop and do whatever. Okay, you know how long that can take. I don't know. I don't know. Just want to be difficult. So then next thing you know, another 20 minutes. So it's taking you. I mean, you haven't done anything. So when are you going to get started? Okay, look up. She's now left. Uh, the shower curtain is gone. It's like, well, you kind of need to put a replacement maybe or something. And now there's like a puddle of uh, water in the bathroom. And I said, oh, my goodness. I said, that's a good candidate for uh, 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 somebody could get injured. And here's the thing about it. I know a lot of people that are ignorant. They don't understand business. When you do things like that, and I hate to say this. This is why, and I hate to say it, but it's freaking true. This is why some people don't want to hire black people. This is why they're going to bring those immigrants in to replace your dumb behind. Don't think it's true, baby. It's already been happening. I've seen whole companies go for a whole lot of black people. That, that I call, it's what the, I call it, de-blacked it. They done de-blacked it, got rid of you. Uh-huh. And they have brought in a lot of Hispanic people. And you know what the sad part is? A lot of them getting the work done, it's not a whole bunch of darn drama. 
get the work done, get in, get out. So anyway, I'm like, oh my goodness. So he's like, hey, you got to mop this water up. This right here, I don't want to slip and fall and hurt myself. Anybody with half a brain knows a person could get injured way big time. What if the person fall and hit their head on the freaking, on, on the toilet, the, uh, on the, on the um, bathtub? Anything could happen. So now you could have a serious injury claim. You could have a serious litigation on your hands. All because Bonquifa wants to act up. I don't know. I don't know. Can you, ma'am? I mean, we're talking about, it's like, I don't understand how that, it's like someone poured a cup of water or something out. It's like, wow, what the heck? So he's like, you know, okay, it's, let me go downstairs and get somebody else to clean the room. And he shows them the pictures and this, and they're like, oh, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. Here's the thing about it. My people doesn't get it again. You, by you having an attitude, you're mad at your life and you like drama. And you see a person that's in business, so you want to go ahead and get some drama going. Because you're ignorant, you can cause that company a hell of a lot of money. Because you're stupid. And the next back person that's not stupid like you, but it's so much dealing with you, they may not want us to be working there. Dusties, Dustinas, they have no idea. They're so darn stupid. Next thing you know, uh, not seeing her anymore. She's sitting up, reading, whatever. All of a sudden, some crazy, deranged looking, uh, dusty black man is at the door, beating on the door, kicking on the door. And he's like, what is this? And he's like, I'm not getting open the door. And he's like, what is going on here? And just talking all crazy, slurring his words up. And he was like, did he say the maid's name? So he's thinking, I said, wow, you know, you did complain to that girl. <clears throat> and I said, if that guy just came to your door and if he's mumbling something about, you know, her name and I'm like, that's the, I'm like, wow, you didn't have this problem before until you, there was an, in, in, there was an, uh, an issue with Bonquifa, the housekeeper. And I said, wow, that might be her boyfriend. I said, she might, I mean, and we're discussing here. I said, she might've given her boyfriend your room number and he might've come up there to, you know, for you to catch those hands. You know, know what I mean? Put on, put up maybe a butt whipping on you, that, that kind of thing. And he's like, that's the first thing that hit my mind. So he's like, you know, I told him, I said, you know what? Just go ahead and get a new hotel. Just go ahead and get a new hotel. It's not even worth it. I said, because you may protect yourself. And next thing you know, what if you have your weapon? You shoot this fool. I said, plus, she might have a car key. I mean, she may be fired. You never know. I said, but what are the chances of this happening? And why would the person talking all crazy, you know, uh, it doesn't make any sense. So I said, yeah, it could be, you know, that guy's kicking on the door, beating on the door like something crazy. He might want to fight you because of what happened. Okay. So think business wise. Let's say that is the case. If that were to happen and a person protect themselves, the fool on the outside of the door, let's say if it is Bonquifa's boyfriend, he can get his behind uh, shot and killed. Next thing you know, uh-oh, on the news, major hotel, uh, the guest has to shoot a possible intruder. Then they trace it back to Mount Keeper's boyfriend. And what do you have? All because of ignorant Dustina, because you're mad about your sad and pathetic life, then more than likely you made some bad choices. And sure, things happen to people. Guess what? You got to get off your butt and just think and plan ahead. Say, I'm here now. What can I do to get myself to the next level? So all because she wants to be a hood rat, see what they can bring. So now, person going to be checking out. Go, go someplace else. And been staying there, um, but, but for two months now. Dustina's hood rats don't understand business. And I'm quite sure they can't even afford to stay there. But you think about it. And it's like, you see how the ignorance, it just permeates the Dustinas and Dusties in the group. They don't understand business. So that company, aside from a, a possible lawsuit, what if they had to escalate and open the door up and they had to defend themselves? Or what if the Dusty had got a hold of him? Now you're on the news with bad publicity. Like that DoorDash food that put the note in the cop's food and put his nasty fingers in it. They have no idea. I keep telling you. They don't think, they don't understand business. Life is business and that's why they're failing at it. So this right here, you want to talk about uh, who's causing a, ma a major problem? The Dusties and the ignorant Dustinas, the behavior, the things that they do. That is what causes a major problem. They are bad for business.
this right here they got him locked up uh, i hope he stays in there for a long time he deserves to be in there for some years and i guarantee you don't be surprised this probably ain't the first time oh no no i'm sure he's got a, uh, some kind of some some kind of record anyway ladies be safe again as i said before i did a video on this one here this here this has an update uh thank you so much claudette hansen uh this one has an update because now that they've caught him 28 years old a 28 year old dumb dusty fool you just threw your life away decisions decisions thanks for watching feel free to comment like subscribe and share ladies and gentlemen please be vigilant if you can you're going to get gasoline put your phone down in your pocket that key fob put it in your pocket that and if you see somebody coming close to you i don't care about being paranoid or being embarrassed i'd rather be embarrassed and paranoid than say somebody coming close to you uh keep some space or go back to your car you see somebody wandering around in the parking lot of a gas station i wouldn't even go there Go, go someplace else. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Anyway, stay safe, everybody. Thanks for watching.